Hey guys, before I showed you how to make some charts in Excel and in this video I'm going to show you how to run a t-test which is a type of statistical test to determine if your data was meaningful or significant. The important thing to note about a t-test is that it can only determine a difference between a data set of two. So if you have two things that you're comparing, you can run a t-test, but if you have more, you have to run an ANOVA, which I have made a video for how to do already, so you can just click right around here and go see how to run an ANOVA if you have more than two sets of data. So our experiment is a little bit different this time. We have the Great Terrible Dragon, and we have determined that sodium is the most effective at suppressing fire breath. And so now we are trying to determine which is the most economically viable bait that the dragons will be attracted to. Scientists have tried to bait the dragons with chicken and cattle, and we have received the following graph. And now we are going to make sure that our data is actually statistically significant. We're going to do this using a t-test and a t-test basically asks the question are our two things that we are comparing different from each other and it answers this question by returning a p-value which is effectively the percent chance that your results happen by accident and in biology we want a p-value of less than 0.05 or less than a 5% chance that we got our results by accident. To run the t-test, we're first going to need to install the data pack. And if you have a newer version of Excel, you're going to go to File. And if you have an older version of Excel, there's a little circle up here with the Windows logo. Either way, you're going to click the Windows logo, logo or File and you're going to go down to Options, and in Options, you're going to click Add-ins, which is near the bottom, and at the bottom it says Manage Excel Add-ins, and we're going to hit Go, and we're going to check the boxes for Analysis Tool Pack and Analysis Tool, tool Pack VBA, and hit OK. Now that we've installed the tool pack, we're going to go to Data, which is on the ribbon, it's next to Formulas, and in data, we're going to go all the way to the end, onto the right, where it says data analysis. Click on it, and near the bottom, since it's in alphabetical order, we're going to pick a t-test, two samples, assuming equal variances. This t-test that we selected is assuming that we took the same number of trials per variable. So in this case, we took five trials for both chicken and cattle bait. So we can use the two sample assuming equal variances and we're going to hit OK and this box appears and we're going to insert our variable one range which is chicken and our five trials and we're going to do the same thing for the variable two and it's OK if we include our labels and the hypothesized mean difference we can leave blank. We are going to tell it now that we have included our labels in our ranges so if you have done that, make sure you click labels. If you didn't, make sure it's unchecked. We can leave alpha at 0 0.05. And I'm going to put our output in the same worksheet. So I'm going to pick our output range. I'm going to click in the text box next to it. And I'm going to select the cell that I want it to show up in. And I'm going to hit OK. So it has a lot of stuff here and you can't read it all so I'm just going to make the column a little bit bigger and you'll see that it has our two labels and it's calculated our mean and our variance and how many trials we ran but the only thing that we're really interested in in this whole box is the P2 tail and this is our two tail P value and you'll see that when I make it a little bit more obvious that our p-value for this experiment is 0.000468, which is way below our minimum for our p-value that we wanted, which was 0.05. So as long as your p-value is below 0.05, your data is significant. And so we know that the dragons, with confidence, chose chicken as bait over cattle. 